All right, um, been working on this uh, little round drill mill conversion CNC using servos, etc. I've uh, showed some of this before, just using a laptop with Smooth Stepper. There's my control box I made. Uh, just very quickly, I'll just recap in here. Inside, you've got four axis drives, uh, three of them are servo drives using the, uh, the um, DC servo drives. Uh, and this one here is a, a lead shine copy uh, for a closed loop stepper. Um, and that's what I'm here to show you is the closed loop stepper deal. What I did was I took a two phase stepper motor, just a regular NEMA 34, about four and a half to five newton meters of torque, decent size one, nothing special. I've adapted it to the handle where the crank handle was via a coupling to my rotary table, um, taking all the backlash out, it's pretty good. But the, the tricky bit here, which is pretty interesting, is rather than buying a closed loop stepper, I just converted this one with like a, a fairly cheap AMT102 encoder. And I mounted that on the back. And all I did was I took the, um, I put the whole um, stepper motor, held it in the lathe, on the lathe chuck, just uh, on the end of the shaft there. You know, the whole thing was spinning around. Didn't go too fast, obviously. I taped up the wires and I just drilled straight in. I just centered and drilled um, the end of the shaft and I gently tapped in and loctited a piece of quarter inch steel shaft here. And that became the drive shaft for my encoder. I just loctited that in place with a fairly neat fitting pin drilled straight into the back of the shaft, which is quite soft, quite easy to drill. And then that allowed me then to drive my encoder, which I then mounted on the back of this plate here. And then that uh, feeds the, uh, the lead shine type um, closed loop stepper driver. And the result is a closed loop fourth axis. So right now I've got the axis uh, on 85, which is, I know, the offset for the, that's the homing position how far it is from my zero and we'll demonstrate how accurate this is so what I'll do is I'll type in here uh, no I'll type in here a zero and I'll enter on that and it should go spot on let's see the lights a bit hard to see there Bit hard to focus in on that, but take my word for it, that is spot on zero. Absolutely perfect. And so now we'll home it. So we'll see. And there you go. Perfectly home. Um, yeah, so pretty happy with that. That's all working really well. Um, yeah, not much more to show. It's a pretty easy way to convert a, a rotary table into a fourth axis. And rather than using an open loop system, why don't you experiment and use a closed loop system like this? Well, there was one other thing I wanted to show. That's what I forgot. Is I mounted a, um, a little NPN proximity switch there. You can see it right there. Just on a bit of plate. Mounted it to the old clamping lug. Yeah, it's got a little three wires and a sleeve that run all the way down here and then down the main loom. This is a bit ugly. I need to try and find out some sort of cap and I'm not sure how this encoder is going to go if it gets coolant on it. Although it is not a glass, it's not a glass optical type. It's a solid state capacitor type or some capacitance type or something. Um, that there is actually a home and drive line, a home and design line driver, which uh, gives me my four channels. Well, what I wanted to show was this proximity switch here, and you'll see how well it works. So when I zero, uh, which is when I sorry when I home, so now this axis, you'll see that little tab that's I've bolted in. It'll come around, 
bang. And how did she zero there? Pretty good. Do it again. Again, very quick. Pretty good. Now we'll go around to A. Is it right? Pretty good. Now we'll hum it again. Other axes go first. I haven't worked it out of isolate, I'm not sure it's pretty easy. So we come around here to home. There we go. Wang. Too good.